Joining us now is Dr. Travis Stork. He's a board certified emergency medicine physician as well as the host of The Doctors. Now, Dr. Stork worries about the dangers of people trying to disable themselves. And, you know, Dr. Stork, we're, we're talking about this uh, here because it's a reality. We want to enlighten people about it. But we also don't want the power of suggestion. We don't want copycat. You want to throw up a caution flag because you don't want to see these people coming in to the ER. Well, on numerous levels, Jules' story is troublesome. I think it's troublesome for anyone listening right now. And when you're an ER doc, people need to understand it's where mental health meets physical health because people will do things like Jewel did and, and then they'll end up in the emergency department and I don't know that I've ever seen someone with BID because a lot of times, like Jewel, you won't know someone is engaged in self-harm. My big concern here, Dr. Phil, is I keep thinking of all of the patients who show up with suicidal ideation and attempted suicides, and the only way out for them, they think, is to kill themselves. In Jewel's case, I hear over and over again, her only way out was to blind herself. To actually have this diagnosis is very rare. I do worry that people are going to hear this story, go online, join a message board, hear how to do it, and pour dream cleaner in their eyes. And there are gonna be a lot of people, number one, who regret it. There are gonna be a lot of people who not only lose their vision, but cause other irreparable harm. And so, yes, I'm concerned. This is very rare. And uh, what I'm wanting to point out is, I, I don't want to contribute to your stress, but, I would have to say there are so many things that I would want to see resolved before choosing this option to make sure that this is really what is driving you. I mean, comorbidity is a reality. There are a lot of things that are existing in parallel here.